Okay, so here's the homework for tonight. Alright? Just don't mess with the shoes, just just listen. Alright? So here's the deal. I'm not some super ten time world champ, won a bunch of national titles, state titles, any of that stuff, right? I'm just a guy that has surrounded himself with some of the best, brightest, innovative, hard working people in the sport, because that's what I want to be, right? I want to be the best coach in the country. So how do I do that? I try to get around the best coaches in the country. And if they don't want to get around me, then I just follow them around at tournaments and listen, right? I hear what they're saying to their athletes. I, I hear what they're saying before and after matches, their demeanor, how they're acting. I, I look to the best guys in our sport and I try to emulate some of that stuff. But part of, part of that, I, I, gotta, I gotta make my own style, right? Because the way you communicate with one athlete is the same the way you communicate with another athlete. So creativity is something that's extremely important to me. And it's kind of what I talked to you guys earlier. Creativity is kind of what keeps us excited about stuff, right? Just the opportunity to be creative and put our stamp on stuff. And wrestling can get so routine and such a, a boxed up thing. Right? You gotta, you gotta eat right, you gotta live right, you gotta, you gotta train hard, you gotta lift weights, you gotta do all this stuff, right? And it just, it's nice in this little box. Go do it, right? And some of the, some of the most entertaining and some of the most bright, innovative people in our sport are people that took, at, took, took that box and interpreted it a different way. The way they looked at things, the way they executed, the, the manner in which they went about it. They were creative. And that's what makes things fun, right? Doing the same thing over and over and over. Even video games, right? You guys get Fortnite and you're like, heck yeah. I'm playing Fortnite 72 hours straight, right? But what happens three weeks in, right? You get a little bored with it. You're doing it over and over and over again. It comes a routine. It's the same thing, right? You need a shot of life in it. You need, some, you need a different angle. That's why y'all change video games, right? It was Call of Duty, and then it was this, and then it was this. It's a shiny new thing in the room. Well, that, that's, that's, some, that's a new perspective for you, right? It's something fresh, right? And as tough as this sport is, right, it demands everything and gives back that, right, sometimes, right? There's guys that literally are the hardest working guys in our sport that will never even come close to what they set out to them. And that's our sport, right? The margin for error is so small when you get to such a high level. Look at the NCAA tournament every year. Look at the guys that come out of nowhere and, and do things that people never expected them to do. And then look at guys that, do. I bet a million dollars that guy's going to win. And he's 0-2 barbecue, right? The margin for error gets so much smaller the higher you get in life, not in wrestling, right? When you got the mortgage, when you got, when you got the car payments, when you got, the, when you got all this stuff. Right? Sitting out in front of them. And you got to make sure you take care of everything. Everything. At a high level, right? Or you don't even. You got to take care of everything at a high level. Or you don't have a car. You don't have a house to live in. Things like that. The margin for error continue, continues to get smaller the higher up you go. No matter what you do. Whether it's growing a big business. Whether it's competing. Any of that stuff. What keeps it fresh? What gets you excited to get up in the morning? Is that creativity. That perspective that you put on things. Right? So that's my challenge to you guys. It's not focus and work harder, get an extra lift in, go to a, find a club and go to a practice tonight. That's, that's not what I want you to do. I want you to think about how you view this sport and the days that are your toughest days, right? Are you just getting your head kicked in? Maybe. I just had a bad day. Or does it end up being a couple weeks of just, man, I don't know why I do this, right? It's probably because your perspective needs to change, right? It's probably because you're not looking at things creatively enough, right? And sometimes you just got to get around different people to help you think that way, right? We can't fix all our problems on our own, right? So that comes down to building an environment around you that helps you succeed. So this is what I want you guys to do. I want you to think about the way you look at this sport and the way you can look at this sport a little bit different to make it a little more fun, a little more creative, and, and, and kind of keep that fire burning inside you to constantly progress. Because it's tough to do, man. It's tough to do day in and day out, especially in a state like state, state like Ohio. When you guys, every weekend, you got somebody tough, right? You get no mail in weekends a lot of time. There's tough guys everywhere, right? What keeps you fired up about going to practice, going to compete, things like that? Keeps it fun.
creativity, right? So don't stifle your creativity for anything ever, right? That's where the most, that's where the best innovation comes from. Just not worrying about doing everything the way everybody else did. Put your own spin on it. Cool? So your flavor is you. You're inventing yourself every day when you wake up. That's your flavor. Nobody tells you what the perfect flavor is. Just like nobody defines what success is for you. Success is what you guys want to make it. Some guys just go playing in Lamborghinis and owning hotels. Right? Some guys just living in the woods. Killing and eating their own food. Right? It's different levels of success for everybody. So nobody defines that. Nobody defines your flavor, right? You do. That's, that's, you gotta live in that world, correct? Yeah. All right, great camp. So tomorrow, come back in. I'm gonna throw twice as much technique at you tomorrow. We didn't even get through, not even half the technique today. So I'm gonna throw twice as much technique at you. I want you to be cry, twice as creative and twice as excited when you roll in here tomorrow. Good? Yeah. Cool. You got anything, coach? Uh, parents, you guys wanna park back here tomorrow. This is Madison Street. Instead of parking over the school, uh, in front of Jefferson there, you guys can park it here, you know, either door here tomorrow. One way street. Yeah. What's that? One, One way, way street, street, same way, yeah, yeah, so. Cool. Bus traffic, big guy, cool job, big guy. All right, clean up after yourselves, see you in the morning.